All right, guys, welcome back to another installment of On the Mats. It's another beautiful day here in Tempe, Arizona. And in this clip, we're going to build on the exercises that we were doing in the previous clip. If you haven't watched that one yet, it's about uh, getting to use the hips properly. And uh, if you haven't seen it yet, check the video description below for a link or click the eye up there. Uh, so in this video, uh, or let's recap last video, uh, we were talking about like the secret of the drum, like in the Karate Kid is not some stupid like block and like twist and block strike simultaneously, like offensive defense is one is a whole nother topic. We were talking about that the real secret of that um, scene or whatever is using the pelvis. So like in Chinese, they talk about the claw. So what we're talking about using is the entire pelvis, like turning the entire pelvis so that we uh, turn the yao, like the, with the waist in Chinese. So like I said, we're gonna build on the, pre on the previous clip. In this clip, we're gonna make sure that we're transferring the power from the hips to the shoulders, because the, the hips and the shoulders should be the four corners that propel power, <clears throat> right? So I talked a little bit last time about creating the, the body here as a cylinder. And so we're, we're gonna make sure that we're propelling from the hip through the shoulder by not twisting anywhere in the midsection. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow Rudy here. Let's turn around a little bit. <clears throat> Keep going. <clears throat> okay, so from here, again, this is gonna take a partner, but what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put my hands on Rudy's rib cage here. So I'm just gonna kinda cup so that he can turn the rib cage from the pelvis. And what I wanna do here is, I'm gonna use the thumbs to create a little bit of additional tension here in the back of the shirt. Basically, all we wanna do is with this, so if we turn a little bit more towards the camera here, I'm just creating a little extra tension so that between the shoulder blade and my thumb on each side, I've got a nice little X and the tension in the fabric. So if you do it wrong and you twist from the waist, you're gonna see here that like this line goes a little bit more slack in the fabric this one will get a little bit tighter. So all we're looking for is to be able to use, like even you could just use the hands on the rib cage as a reference point, or that little bit of extra tension in the fabric here that we're turning all of these points simultaneously by moving from the feet, right. And then from here is you can hold the ball. Oh, now we started to twist a little bit. So let's bring the attention back to here spin from the feet, drive through the legs into the pelvis, right, to rotate the torso. So I talked in the last video about like having one circumference here in the hips. Now we're moving up, we're including the shoulders into the movement so that from the shoulders in the, in the pelvis and the rib cage and the spine, like all one thing. So now we have one big circumference here that we're working on rotating, especially by when we come up to hold the ball here. We're gonna sink and clamp. We're gonna drive from the feet, using the legs to propel the hip. Okay, so that's it for this installment of On The Mats. If you like that, don't forget to like, drop a comment, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.